Thank you. I'm definitely concerned with climate change and what it's doing to, to the region and the impact it's going to have on national security. Um, with the time remaining left, you know, if you take a look at the chart, as I mentioned, it, there's a pretty remarkable difference between the icebreakers that Russia has and China has. Should the U.S. Uh, be concerned uh, that it's lagging so far behind Russia and China? Maybe one of the other um, panelists want to start. I, I won't speak to Coast Guard specific points, but yes is the short answer to the question. Uh, one of the reasons the State Department is working to enhance its presence in the region and diplomatic engagement is precisely because we see our adversaries uh, doing the same. And we have to move beyond a point where we're focused solely on uh, the one element of Arctic policy that we've been focused on over the past 20 years, as important as it is, the work of the Arctic Council to ensuring we, we, we inject a respect for and concern about Arctic security into what we do every day. And that's precisely what the Secretary has asked us to do. And that's what lay behind, for example, our decision to open a new consulate in Greenland. Admiral, do you want to chime in before I yield back? Well, I think uh, what we propose in the Coast Guard is 631. So we're, I think trying to catch the 53 is not something that we think is uh, that aspirational for us. Talk about six icebreakers total. We need to do the job. We need to do it both poles. Three of them need to be heavy icebreakers, and we need the first one right now, as we've talked about. 